guys. So I am super excited to make this video. This is a Magic Ruler Booster Box, first edition. Now for those of you who don't know, um, when Konami first came out with the booster boxes, they came in either 24 or 36 packs. So this is a 36 pack box, first edition. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Unless you're doing Legend of Blue Eyes, it doesn't get much better than this. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I am so excited about this. Okay. Okay, so this is some real nostalgia right here. Sealed first edition. I mean, just so exciting. Okay, so, okay, so the um, foils are harder to pull in this in these older sets. Um, in like the newer packs, or the ratios are a lot higher. Um, when Yu-Gi-Oh first came out, you only got a super one in every six packs, and the Ultra came one in every twenty-four, and they didn't even give ratios on secret rares. So, wow, this is awesome. So, um, when I do videos for newer cards, I go a little faster, but since this is just straight up nostalgia and it's really exciting. I'm gonna go, oh, I was in right. See, I'm gonna go a little slower. Even, because every, every card in here is awesome. Labyrinth Wall. Not every card, I'm not saying every card in here is a great card, but, oh man. Like I said, we're nostalgia gaming, so we, we're all about nostalgia. That's what we wanna do. We wanna, this is exactly what we look at. Hamburger Recipe, Psychic Kappa. Fairy's Hand Mirror, Griggle, to start making the uh, cards attack life points, opponents life points, right? Mother Grizzly. Man, this is so awesome in like the first uh, water decks. Born of Light. Sonic Bird is awesome. I mean, oh man. These are exciting. I'm hoping to run into a relinquished or blue eyes tomb dragon, but I'm not gonna be, you know, disappointed if I don't. This is awesome. Magical labyrinth, nimble momanga, man. Last horn of light again. Sonic bird again. Tyhoon number two. Man, these are just awesome. I love this. I love everything about this. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like it. Um, I'm going to be doing more older videos on old videos of older cards like this. Um, oh, Dark Sea Ray is cool. Red Archery Girl. Malevolent Nuzzler. Oh, man. Missing tomato. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, on to the next pack. I can't say enough how much I love opening this. This is amazing. So like I said, I'm hoping to pull a relinquished. Oh, this is a little separation. Maybe it's a foil. Let's see. Hoping to pull a relinquished or a blue eyes tune dragon. If not, that's okay. Um, black pendant. Ooh, there we go. Weather report. Upstar goblin. That's probably worth some money, actually. Upstar goblin. Everybody uses it now. So, magic ruler, first edition. It's gotta be worth some. I'm gonna go ahead and case up this black pendant. Um, that's awesome. Foil black pendant, first edition. This is really cool. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleeve up the upstart goblin too. This is back when Yu Gi Oh! was a lot simpler. It was a simpler time. You didn't have to have 
the top tier deck, you know, there's still creativity. You can pretty much build whatever you wanted to build. You just put the, your best cards together, you know. But that's okay. I never I'm just a red archery girl. They made her they made the tunes and uh, they turned red archery girl into Toon Mermaid. Or something like that. Toon whatever it is. But um, the rest of the tunes are all like the same and two black pendants in a row. Wow. That's actually really cool. Two black pendants in a row. Hmm. That's actually kind of strange in these these old packs to get not only to get two foils in a row, but to get two of the same foil in a row. That's awesome. Strange, but awesome. So, Queen Bird, Rush Recklessly. Man, a lot of these cards bring back so many memories. I'm telling. I actually want to someday open up a card shop. And I want to make like a Yu-Gi-Oh vintage tournament. Like you take just the first three sets, like uh, Blue Eyes, Magic Ruler, and Mellow Raiders, and you have to build a deck out of just cards from those packs and have a tournament with them. Curse of Fiend, Crab Turtle. What do we got here? Flying Kamakuri, number one. They're all guarding. Spear Creeping. <laughs> Weather Report, another upstart. Probably gonna pull quite a few upstarts in this because it's actually a common in this set. So, excited about that. Looking forward to more of those. So, let's continue. What do we got here? We got UFO Turtle. Man. This this really is nostalgia right here. This really is nostalgia. Like I said, unless you're dealing with Legend of Blue Eyes packs, it doesn't get much better than this. As far as Yu-Gi-Oh! is concerned. I wasn't fortunate enough as a little kid to be able to afford a booster box. Another mother grizzly. So, you know, I got the starter, starter decks, you know, the Kaiba and the Yugi. Got some booster packs at a couple at a time. You know. And, you know, when you're a kid, you don't really think about the future. You know, you'd have, if I could have all those cards back, you know. Oh, I see a little bit of separation in the cards here, so this might be a foil we're about to get here. Let's see what we got here. Magical Labyrinth and Hero Shadow Scout. I was wrong. Okay. That's cool, though. Hero Shadow Scout. Mechanical Snail. Slot Machine. I believe Slot Machine is just a short print. So, that's probably worth some money, too. Um... I don't really know if short print cards are worth more money or not. Creative Keeper Servant, that's awesome. Let's see here, Whiptail Crow, Performance of Sword, Die Turtle. Ooh, Banisher of the Light. Metalfish, Horn of Light, Sonic Bread again, and Tiger number two. Banisher of the Light. That's awesome. 100 attack, 2,000 defense, and of course back in the day with Yu-Gi-Oh, 2,000 defense was a big deal if you didn't have to sacrifice. And he, as long as he remains faithful on the field, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play. So he started it all, <laughs> as far as the removed from play. Banisher of the Light. That's awesome. So super rare so far, we got Banisher of the Light and two Black Pendants. 
And then of course the upstarts, which are like probably worth more than some of the um, some of the um, rares that we pulled. So Let's see your snake fang, peacock, wall shadow, stone ogre grotto. Rush recklessly again. Okay. Ceremonial Bell. Kododama. Octoburzer. Hungry Burger. And of course, I believe this is when rituals were a new thing. Were there rituals in the first first set? Legend of Blue? I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so. I think this started the rituals. Started it off with Relinquished. And of course, Crab Turtle was really cool because he was a common, so everybody could get three Crab Turtles and three Turtles pretty easily. And oh, he's 50 more than Dark Magician, so it's a big deal, you know. But <laughs> what do we got here? Senju of the Thousand Hands. This was also a big help when it comes to uh, rituals. So it's really cool. Him and Sonic Bird, the whole. Rituals and rituals came out. This is when tunes came out. This is just an awesome, awesome set. Um, very nostalgic, and uh, you know, not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of sets that truly like change the game. You know, um, obviously there is some recent stuff like obviously Pendulum has changed the game forever, uh, stuff like that. But um, this. As the only being only the second set, obviously, I hope it changed the game a lot, but, um, ooh, another Banisher of the Light. So we got two ba Banisher of the Lights and two Black Pendants. That's pretty cool. So hopefully we start pulling some better stuff. But yeah, these are like these are these are like trademark cards. And these are classic, classic trademark cards. Malevolent Nuzzler, what do we got here? Karate Man. Karate Man. These are awesome. Awesome. Rindar and Jigen Bakudan. The poor man's um, the poor man's time wizard. Time Wizard, I believe, is another. It's also in this set. Another great, great card. Um, so, is it in this set or is it in the first set? I don't know. That's okay. The Ancient One of the Deep Forest, which is a really epic name for such a non-epic card. Crab Turtle again. Cyber Jar. Cyber Jar is so cool. So bang, you'll never be able to use him again. But he's so cool. <laughs> Cyberdog is one of those cards that just needs to stay banned, you know what I mean? Um, if he became unbanned, it'd be a big deal. Yeah. Which by the way, they just came out with the new new ban list. It's gonna be effective March 31st. And Sangin is unbanned. He didn't go just just go from band to limited. He went from band to you can run three, which is weird, but that's okay. And they unbanned brain control. Poor soldier, hamburger recipe, UFO turtle. Cool, cool. Commencement dance, metal fish, eternal rest, and a horn of the light. When I got this box, I almost didn't want to open it just because it's such a collector's item, the box itself. But you know, the kid in me just really had to open it, you know. So, Ancient World of the Deep Forest, Fire Cracking, Dark Witch, Molten Destruction, which is cool. Ooh, Black Illusion Ritual. Hopefully that's a predecessor to a relinquished. <laughs> of course, the sanctuary mechanical snail. If I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. I'm going a lot slower than I was with the 12 days of raging tempest. 
because I feel like you have to go slower with these cards. You have to read out the card names because they're, they're old, they're classic, they're um, just trademarks, they're all that stuff. So I am going slower. Um, but Okay, what's next? So far we pulled five supers, no ultras, no secrets. Performance is sword, giant turtle, such long names of these ones. Giant rat, giant rat, metal fish, eternal rest, of light, and another sonic bird. Oh, there's a place at a sonic bird. <laughs> Shadow, or is it Wall Shadow? It's just Wall Shadow, right? Yeah. Stone Ogre Grotto. What do we got here? Shining Angel. The original Shining Angel. We'll go ahead and put those Dark Goblin to this side again. Darkness Approaches. Kotor Dama. I believe this is the most valuable of Dark Goblin. If it's not, it should be. You know, I don't get how, like, something, if something is shinier, it can be worth more, even though it's not the original. But I feel like whatever, whichever version is from the original booster pack, first edition, should be the most valuable version of any card. There shouldn't be a reprint that's more valuable, but sometimes it just works out that way, because maybe the original is common, or just a super, and they make a reprint that's a secret, and everyone's like, oh, okay, it's shinier, it looks better. So, but, Red Archer. I'm not like that. I'd much rather have the original, original card. Giant Germ. Giant Germ was a fun little uh, control card. Liquid Beast. House of Adhesive Tape. I told myself I wouldn't open all of these in one sitting, but I'm probably going to. So. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Peacock, Wall Shadow, what do we got here? Amoeba, Amoeba, he's cool. Labyrinth Wall, Liquid Beast, House of Adhesive Tape, again. Alright, sorry if I mumble, I do tend to mumble sometimes, you know, but that's okay. Oh yeah, Gaia Power. It's fun. Chain Energy, High Tide Di Diogen, More Soldier, Horn of the Unicorn. This is one of the better rares in the set. 700 attack and defense to whatever monster you would choose. With no drawbacks. And the extra 700 attack and defense was a big deal in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! It really was. Um, so, Magical Labyrinth, Dark Zebra, Rising Air Current, Red Archery Girl. Ooh, Confiscation. That's one of the, that's one of the cards I actually wanted from this set. Title number two, Motor Electric Snake, Flash Assailant. Confiscation. I'm so glad I pulled this card. He's going right into one of these. Confiscation's banned. It's always going to be banned. Pretty much anything hand control gets banned pretty quick. Especially if you get to look at your opponent's hand and choose the card you want to discard. That's just insane. So. Pretty much anything that can shut down Exodia easily gets banned pretty quick. So still no Ultras or Secrets. And like I said, back in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a Hyo Zen Ryu. Um, the ratio was Ultra 1 in every 12 to total. And there was no um, ratio for the Secrets, but we have definitely opened more than 12 packs. We opened 
I think we opened 24 packs and not pulled an ultra rare out yet. So, um, this is disappointing so far. Hopefully, we, the rest of the box makes up for what we've done so far. Let's see here Stone Ogre, Grotto, Chain Energy, High Attack Illusion, or Soldier. What do we got here? A second confiscation. Okay. Toll, the Rival Guardian, Spear Creed. This is actually a very strange box. Higher up in the box, I pulled two black pendants in a row. And then I pulled two Banisher of the Light almost in a row. I think with one pack in between. And now I pulled two confiscations in a row. So the only thing we didn't pull two in a row of, of supers was the Black Illusion Ritual. So let's see what's next on here. Okay, Malevolent Nuzzler, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Fire Kraken, Dark Witch, oh snap, oh snap, okay, this is no longer a bad box, <laughs> okay, this is no longer a bad box, that's awesome, alright, right into a sleeve, and right from the sleeve into the case, you go. So, man. Alright, the two confiscations I'm very happy about. The Serpent Night Dragon I'm fanatic about. That's awesome. Uh, like I said, I would like to pull a Relinquished or a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. But, if I don't, that's okay. Especially with that Serpent Night Dragon. See, hamburger recipe, psychic kappa, griggle, final destiny, mango ryuran. They call them manga instead of tune for some reason, but it's okay. Sonic bird, time to an electric snake. Now I'm glad I opened the rest of the box. I want to say I was going to go open half and then open the other half later on. I decided not to, and now I'm glad I decided not to. Very glad. Let's see here. Snake Fang, Peacock, Wall, Shadow, Nimble Momonga. We pulled two Nimble Momonga. You need three, but that's okay. Upstart Goblin. Man. I'm psyched for all these Upstart Goblins. Upstart Goblin is very once on the market, and this is the hardest one to get. So. What else do we have here? What do we have here? Something good. I can just feel this is going to be a good card. I can feel it already. What is it? Oh, the Forceful Sentry. How did I know? Slot Machine, Guardian, Black Wolf, and another Liquid Beast. Man. Talk about hand control. Two confiscations and the Forceful Sentry. Man. I'm stoked about that. So the second half of this box has been much kinder to us than the first half. The first half gave us only supers, the second half has given us a Serpent Night Dragon and Forceful Sentry. So. I certainly wouldn't call this the best box ever, but it has not been a terrible box. I can cap a Fairy's Hand Mirror. Griggle, we got a rare here, another giant rat. Alright. Weather report. Another upstart. That's another upside to one of the, to these boxes. You get a ton of upside goblins, which um, they're not super expensive cards, but they're decent cards money wise. And they're, you're gonna pull a ton of them if you get a box. Because it's a common. So um, not a lot of boxes you're gonna open with it. You get a common for the time money. So unless you're opening like a first edition base set Pokemon box and you get everything PSA graded. But we don't have ten thousand dollars to spend, so 
um, Eat Gaboon, Queen Bird, Mystic Plasmazone, another Giant Germ, Minar, Bakudan, Flash of Salient, and Twin Long Rods. Okay. On to the next. What do we have here? What do we have here? Stone Ogre Grotto. Chain Energy. High Tide Gaiojin. Four Soldier. Mystic Tomato. Octoriser. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Hungry Burger. Commencement Dance. Metal Fish. Right, we only have two packs left. So if we can pull at least one more Ultra or Secret out of these two packs, then I can call this a successful box. So come on, guys. You got to root for me here. All right. Let's see what we got. Stone Ogre Grotto. Killer of the Fickle. Chain Energy. High Tide Gaiojin. Flying Kamakiri number one. House of Adhesive Tape. Ryu Ran. The Reliable Guardian and Spear Cretan. Being as old as they are, all these cards, first edition, are at least worth something. Like, even the crappy ones. Because it's a nostalgia value. Yeah. So somebody somewhere will pay decent money for them. That's just one of those things. Penguin Knight is fun. Eat Gaboon. Queen Bird. Come on now. Snatch Steel. Thank goodness. Okay. Octoburzer, Commencement Dance, Hungry Burger, Metal Fish. So that's awesome. Snatch Steel. Of course, banned like all good cards from back in this era. But, um, nevertheless, still awesome. Uh, you don't buy boxes like this because you want to win tournaments, obviously. But, okay. Okay, so to recap this video, uh, good cards, we got five upstar goblins, which a lot of people probably wouldn't highlight, but I'm going to highlight them. Cyber Jar, which is awesome. Two Black Pendants. Two Banisher of the Light. Two Confiscation, which I really like. One Black Illusion Ritual. One The Forceful Sentry, which I also really love. Anything hand control. A Snatch Seal and a Serpent Knight Dragon. So, good box overall. Um, if you liked it, hit like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me a comment as to why you didn't like it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.